everybody. Welcome to another edition of Jane's Jam. I am Jane. This is my jam. I am going to attempt to make my first tag video. I just got to thinking, you know how people always say that like when you've been married for a long time that you start to look like your partner or your spouse or maybe some people that have dogs start looking like their dogs and vice versa. And I don't think that's meant in a bad way at all. I think it's kind of fun and you do start to kind of mimic and resemble people sometimes. So then all being said, I thought, let's try to play around with the bags a little bit. So what I'm going to do is uh, do four, there's going to be four different bags to show. Um, one is going to be the bag that best represents me. One is going to be the bag that least represents me. One is going to be the bag that I aspire to be like. And one is going to be the bag that there is just it's just so far out there in the realm of who I am that it's just amazing that I have the bag and I still love it like crazy. So I'm going to start with the bag that's the most out there. Doesn't feel like something I'd ever carry necessarily, but I still just love it to pieces. And so that bag for me would be this. This is my Chanel reissue. The reason it's not a whole lot like me is to me, this is fancy. This is fancy. This is fine jewelry. This is um, just absolute gorgeousness in a bag. It's sexy. It's sweet. It's petite. It's tiny. It's perfect. It's going to age with perfection because of the, um, the uh, leather on here. And um, yeah, so if there was ever a bag that just seems like I'm, I'm a tomboy, I'm um, just not necessarily prim and proper all the time um and certainly not fancy fancy would be about the one of the least things you probably say about me i can be sometimes but in general not so much so to me this is the bag that is so different from my personality but um that it's just crazy but yet i absolutely adore the bag and i will rock it when the time is right so that's the bag that's um, just kind of the one that's most far out there for me. The one bag that I would say is uh, least like me as a person, but still within the general realm of, you know, like me, that would be this one. This is my uh, Gucci. I'm just going to toss the dust bag. And um, this one's like me. I love silver. But the reason I think of it not like me is to me this is like preppy. To me, this is like a preppy bag. You know, this is the people that in the 80s and 90s wore the polo shirts and the turned up collar and um, probably were really good at sports. And um, yeah, just, um, I got an organizer to put in here. Can you tell? Um, yeah, just, you know, it just doesn't represent me. It's, it's kind of formal. It's, um, it knows who it is. Uh, it can't pretend to be anything but what it is. And, um, yeah, just, just least represents who I am. The bag that I aspire to, because I'm going to save the one that's most like me for last, would just be, and I'm, I'm not really going to take this all out because it's all wrapped up, but this is that Caro again that I just did the video on, the Dior Caro. I aspire to this. This bag is gorgeous. Um, this bag is beautiful new. It's going to be beautiful old. It's gonna age gracefully with dignity. Um, it'll know its place. It um, knows what to say, knows what to wear. The makeup's probably always perfect on it. So it's it's who I would like to be um, in a bag and would aspire to be and could see myself being, you know, it's still fun, it's still playful. You can wear it a bunch of different ways. That's, that's who I would aspire to be. But if I had to pick a bag, in my collection that was absolutely positively and now I don't know where it is the bag like me sorry it is this my Louis Vuitton Lodge I believe it's a PM this is me in a bag she's a little bit um, older she is a little big she's a little gushy she's unexpected She's bright, she's colorful. This is a happy bag. This bag is never sad. 
Uh, most of my bits and pieces still are where they're supposed to be, but there's a couple that are sliding out, not exactly where they should be anymore. The leather on it's patina beautifully, but is definitely aged. It definitely shows its wear. The hardware on it uh, still, still shines. You can shine her up nice, but if you get real close, you can see there's just a little bit, you know, <laughs> um, or a lot of bit of wear. Uh, overall, she's in good shape. She's um, colorful, and what I like is she's got all different bits and pieces to her. You know, and with the colors and the different shapes and the dis different, like, D-rings and stuff on her, every time you look at her, you see something you haven't seen before. Uh, she's unpredictable. Um, just when you think you've worn her everywhere, you can, every way you can wear her, she changes. Um, but she always wants to be bright and colorful. She wants to make people happy. She even has her, her own little permanent smile. And I just think if there was a bag in my collection that represents me to a T, it is this LV Multicolor Lodge bag so that is the bag that is most like me so now um i am going to tag a bunch of people down in the description box or maybe i'll put it at the end of the video because i want to see other people's um, impressions of what bags are most like them in their opinion least like them things like that so i'm gonna tag um, winnie from winnie blv uh dawn from dawn loves couture tanya from bits and bags amelia rose from amelia, Ro amelia rose's closet um yoda from yoda style autumn beckman uh jane church uh candy from candy sweet love for lv uh debbie from deb's dilemma and um cammy from cammy's closet and um Caleb, oh Caleb, 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 I need to know. I need to know what bag are you? What bag represents you most in your collection? So uh are there any of the bags that I picked that you disagree with just from the little you've seen me on uh video? Uh let me know. Um this is kind of my little bag corner and um one day I'll do a I know I just did my SLG video, I'll do a video of my bags kind of showing them all um at some point not just yet I, I keep them all away keep the blinds down but yeah so that's my video um i'm hoping some other people will do it so i have my first like official tag that i can think of i have another one too that i want to do but um first we'll see if this works at all and um just want to thank you so much for watching i've gotten a lot of new subscribers with the last slg video and the sweet women who um who did a collaboration with me and um, I really appreciate it. Um, I love meeting all you in the comments. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, please subscribe. Um, I go, I'm just, I'm super excited to hit 300 subscribers. Um, I know Yoda, I just watched her video today. She's excited to be approaching 6,000. Yeah, I aspire for my 1,000, but um, yeah, thanks again for just being here and Please, until next time, uh, please do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Check me out on Tuesdays and Saturdays where I'll upload new videos. And thank you so much for being here.